and welcome to a new video with me. Today we are finally talking a little bit about my tattoos. I will show you my very first seven tattoos and I'm also going to tell you a little bit about their meaning, about the tattoo artist and how much it hurt. <laughs> Afterwards we will continue with part two soon, so stay tuned and have fun watching. For me, most have a meaning and they remind me of a beautiful day or a beautiful memory and just great things. Unfortunately, however, it's not completely untrue that once you start to get tattoos, it's really hard to, to stop again because you always find some free space and you're always like, I want more. <laughs> but until now, I can say that I don't regret any of them. I have wanted to where I did a cover up. I will show this one to you today. But all in all, I really love them and I really feel complete with them. I think without tattoos, I would feel very naked. <laughs> when you know what I mean. But yeah, let's start with the first seven tattoos. So my very first tattoo was this one. This one says Semper Fidem. I got it when I was 17 and it is not only my first but also the most important for me because Semper Fidem is Latin and means always faith. Underneath are the birth dates of my parents. I wanted to dedicate this to my parents because they are always there for me. No matter what I do, they take me as I am with all my thoughts and they are probably the only ones who support me in every way and believe in me. Um, a little side story, you have to know my parents hate tattoos, <laughs> especially my dad. There was also a moment where my dad didn't talk to me anymore because I got a new tattoo. <laughs> but now they accept it, but they still hate every one of my tattoos. <laughs> From a hurt scale from 1 to 10, it was a uh, 5. The mandala over here was my second tattoo and I got it from the same tattoo artist. This was when I still lived in Linz. It's years ago and I even don't know if this guy is still tattooing. <laughs> but yeah, mandala was my second tattoo and I really love it. It has a very, very personal meaning for me. Since I'm a person who often sees only the negatives in life, I needed something to remind me of how beautiful life is. For me, it has the meaning that we all live only once in this world and we should enjoy every second and every moment, do what we love and not think about the bad. I'm perfect the way I am with all my flaws because I'm me. So yeah, when I got this tattoo, this was such a um, important meaning for me to remind me every day. Now I can say that I'm not that negative anymore. I really see a lot of positive things in the everyday life, but yeah, still love the tattoo and their meaning. <laughs> I heard scale from 1 to 10, it was a 3 to 4. This area was not that bad. And I really don't know anymore how much both of them were. But I think this one was like 250 euros and this in my inner arm, I think this was a little bit cheaper because my sister was a good friend of the tattoo artist. I really don't know anymore, I'm sorry. Another one is this little world map. This is a very simple meaning for me. And one of my biggest dreams is to travel and discover the world, to see all the beautiful places on earth and get to know the different cultures. And my dream and goal for the future is to travel more and to see more places. Also now together with my boyfriend or with my best friends. So this is like a, I think, a really common tattoo, but I still love the meaning for me. This area was a four or five. It was not that bad. I still love this artist. He is in Linz in Upper Austria and I will link it 
down below for you. Another one is this little tree over here. I can't imagine my life without this because I connect because I connect trees with my hometown because there's a lot of forest there. It sounds weird, but yeah. <laughs> I find the symbol just so great and I wanted it at a place that has something unusual. So it spontaneously became the ring finger. Actually already one of my trademarks. Yeah, I can remember that I wanted three trees over here. But then I thought this is so common and I want something more special. So I just got a tree on my ring finger. The next one is this date of birth. This is the birth date from one of my bigger brothers. I have two, but I spent my whole childhood with one of them. He's the younger one of these two. And he always was my best friend, big brother and also role model. I think I adopted a lot of things from him, his taste of music and I, for example, I started to do workouts and fitness and go to the gym just because of him. <laughs> and yeah, he's very important to me, so I now have him with me every day. Next one is my wave under my left arm. This wave was a little bit smaller when I got it the first time. To be honest, I didn't take care of the wave. So the wave faded away a bit and was not that beautiful as it should be. So after some time I have decided to get it covered up with a bigger wave and I was and I'm still super happy with the covered up wave and this wave also always should remind me on summer and the sea because I love beach, the sea and summer and sun and who not loves this? <laughs> The hertz scale from the little tree, I would say, was 3 and the wave was around 7 because I'm very tricklish. <laughs> Another one from the same tattoo artist is this little pineapple and I'm not only in love with the spot but also with the tattoo itself and it's just the fruit. I think pretty much everyone asks me if it's my favorite fruit but the funny thing is that I don't really like pineapples I do like them when I get them somewhere to eat but would never buy one myself I just think a pineapple is probably the best looking fruit the funny thing how I got it was <laughs> I was at the first tattoo appointment at my tattoo artist and there he has a wall where he has pre-drawn pictures, of course all self-made, and there it was, a pineapple. <laughs> Since then I couldn't get it out of my head and I needed to tattoo necessarily and yet yeah, there is it now. <laughs> and I still love it. The hurt scale was around 2 or 3. This area is also super easy. So, and this was my tattoo story part one of our little series. I hope you liked it and hope you like the tattoos as much as I do. But yeah, the most important thing is that I love them, so no worries if you don't like them. I hope you liked this video and I would be really happy if you can give me a like. And if you have any questions, Please don't mind and just leave a comment down below. See you in part 2.